Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to run you through how we made our caravan bunk bed barrier. Basically to stop our youngster from escaping out of her bed or falling on the floor. Um, if you've got a bit of spare time and a basic skill set, then I think anyone should be able to make something like this. But hey, probably less than 50 bucks. Um, yeah. So we need to create like a screen thing. And we're going to try and do it ourselves because I know you can buy them, but they're really expensive. I just can't justify it. So we're going to try and make it and we'll see how we go. Tim's pretty handy, aren't you, love? Oh, handy as. Handy as. Forty mil on that side. About a thousand and twenty mil wide. Let me just give it a hundred mil on that. Thousand and twenty by seven twenty. So we need to go and find some sort of heavy duty fly screen or a soft shade cloth or something. Something like something that. Breathable. And the nice heavy duty zipper. Here we can zip you in. We found some zipper. Bunny, um, not bunny, spotlight. Spotlight. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is that 14 bucks then? 14 bucks. So we've got three meters four dollars, of that. $4.90 a meter. Yeah, so we've got three meters of that. I don't know, it's, it looks good enough. So. And then we got this, and because I didn't know, I'm not a sewing person, so I didn't know what sort of thread you would use. And this, what type is this, babe? got some shade cloth. How much was that babe? Seven dollars twenty or something. 40. Yeah. Like seven seven dollars something a meter. You know the best bit is it's a night what? She you know how she reckons. I'll give you a meter and a half because my cutting skills aren't the best. We actually only needed seven hundred and I reckon she gave us about sixteen seventeen hundred. So we should have two shots at this if we stuff up the first one. Stuff up the first one. And it's quite see-through it's very breathe it's very breathable so that's good you know that's important Send help. Does anyone know how to use a sewing machine? No. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So about two and a half hours. One piece of shade cloth wasted and a lot of swear words later, trying to learn how to use a sewing machine. I've got my piece that I'm gonna stick up inside the second bunk. Obviously I haven't put the zipper into it yet, but basically what I've done is I've got the male side of the Velcro or the hook side. So, well, scratchy side, not the fluffy side. And I've stitched both of them into the sides of there. So basically now, I'm going to put the fluffy side into the bunk and see where it all sits so I can mark my zip and wing it from there. So, I've just got my fluffy side of my Velcro started up here, but I thought I'd show you what the actual finished plan is. I obviously have a strip down here, same going in. On the other side, hold it tight on the sides.
both sides stuck on. It's actually really strong. But what I'm going to do is pull it tight and mark the top of where my other strip of Velcro is going to go. Probably going to be easier said than done. Thousand and sixty-five mil. All right, and those two little marks will mark the outside of our Velcro. Might put them just a little bit further so that it stretches tighter. Obviously, once I put a zip in here, you'll be able to reach through to put it in and out. Evie, go look what Dad's done. Hey, Houdini. You won't be escaping for lunch longer, mate. Mm. Can I have a pin, please? Yes, my love. Are you, what's that? You want a pin? Mm -hmm. <gasps> um, settle down. Here you go. Just have a <laughs> be good. Very good. It's nice see through too. All I'm in, like all I'm envisioning right now while you're doing this is Evie's face just slammed up against this or smushed into it. I don't know why else this is impossible over here. No. I can't actually get my hand in the back to do anything. Mm. Mm. Bit tricky. It's almost like I need you off the GoPro and actually give me a hand. Oh, okay, yeah. What do, you, what do you want me to do? You should have locked me in there first my wine bottle and then I would have just sat there and, and helped from that side all right zips all pinned in I wasn't ready back to the sewing machine Annie let's go I don't think, I don't think there's anything you can't do, babe. Nice
All right, guys, so it's been oh, a good couple of weeks since I started the bunk bed restraint mechanism, or say, I don't know, the infant, yeah, the infant safety barrier to stop basically our little Evie falling from there onto the floor and just give her that somewhat of barrier to stop her from thinking she can run a muck all around the caravan at all hours of the night and I've actually only finished it off now because I've got a week off work thanks to finally picking up the Rona it's been a long few years coming but well here we are I've got COVID as you can see I'm clearly dying yeah so this is finished now basically what we've done velcro velcro all the way along the top and back down the other sides so yeah we haven't even actually velcroed anything along the bottom underneath the mattress basically the weight of the mattress and the sheet and everything tucked down in pins the shade cloth in against that little lip and happy days it actually came up better than i thought not much of an upholsterer but everything's nice and tight we've had her in there she can't escape happy days and best thing is i reckon it probably cost us or definitely cost us less than 50 bucks and we've still got heaps of velcro and stuff left over so it's a win if you ask me to say thanks for watching that's the end of the baby video very 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 video and uh... all right guys so i just want to say thanks for watching that's the end of the caravan bunk bed barrier build um hopefully hopefully you guys have learned something or found this video helpful and yeah we've actually had a lot of fun making it so see you next time thanks for watching bye see ya